back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We are here at, uh, this is called, I guess, Open House yes, sir. in Indiana. I'm here with Pavel. You guys should recognize Pavel at this point of 27 North, yes, right? Sir. And we're looking at the Rex Rover. We're going to do updates today. So you guys have already seen the Rex Rover. I think the video on that is doing pretty well. That was a prototype. Pavel is going to run us through all the changes. How many changes? So 19. 19. 19. Changes. Yes. So this video, 19 changes. This is what you're going to be selling, right? Yep. So yeah. this is our first production model. And okay. we implemented 19 changes that we got from even your comments on the video that we did. And, oh, and a lot okay. of the dealers and uh, users have given us strong feedback that we implemented and brought mm -hmm. it into life on our first production model. Very cool. So we're going to get all into that right now. As you guys might have already heard, Lola and myself are brand ambassadors for Sunshine State RV. And as Vanasaurs, I want to take this moment to encourage anyone who is in the market for a Class B van to start their journey with SSRV. Sunshine State RVs specializes in selling Class B vans and B plus RVs. That is the reason why they are the number one dealer in all of the state of Florida. Number three in the whole United States. SSRV will fly you right to their location in Gainesville, Florida. They'll give you a very detailed and thorough walkthrough of your van, and they'll give you a two night stay at a local campground so you can get used to your van. If you don't like that, you can actually have hands-free delivery anywhere in the United States of your RV. We bought our Coachman Beyond from Sunshine State RV two years ago. And over the past two years, we've seen how they treat customers when it comes to warranty side. Their service team is great. Whether you bought it from them or not, every person that comes in there gets the same service and care when it comes to warranty repairs. The same service, attention, and care. And their team does a great job getting you back on the road safely. So if you guys are in the market for a B or B plus van, consider Sunshine State RV. We've got a link in the description that you guys can use to see their current inventory and have someone get in touch with you. Yes, sir. From so starting the front, yeah. uh, Buck Stop, I connected with the CEO and he's just been great to work with. And okay. he designed a, an exclusive bumper for us. So this is a, an exclusive bumper for 27 North. And that company's called Bump Stop? Buck Stop, yeah. Buck Stop. Yes, sir. Okay, Buck Stop. Yes, yeah, okay, so cool. it's a really nice bumper. The winch is incorporated in it. Worn compatible bolts. OEM compatible tow hitches. Okay. Uh, nice. Rigid lights. And then we actually added an LED strip to the bull bar here. And this keeps sensors? Yes, sir. Oh, sweet. Sensors, okay. crash sensors, uh, parking sensors, and mm -hmm. then uh, adaptive cruise control. Okay. And another really cool thing, we carried out all five original cameras. Oh, sweet. Okay. So a lot of builders will actually delete uh, mm -hmm. more than half the Still cameras. Here. We yeah. kept all the original cameras, and then we made this tall enough to where it clears it underneath. Yeah. So 360 feet. I really like the color on the adventure skin. See that? Yes, sir, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, so this is our gray. Uh, uh -huh. We offer gray. Uh, olive green, okay. navy blue, white, and black. Okay, so big thing right here, we can see it, this is on an F-250. Yes. Is that staying or? Yes, so F-250 is if you don't want the overlane pack, it's just a base oh. truck. There's okay. been a certain amount of clientele that just want a base truck. So we okay. still do offer an F-250, but more than 90% have pre-ordered with the overlane package. So that comes on the F-350. Oh, I see. Okay, so most yeah. of your orders are on the F-350. On the F-350. But this is an option. Yes, sir. Okay. And you can't even, like, standing from the outside, you can't even tell the difference. Mm -hmm. um, it's just got a beefier chassis mm -hmm. to be able to handle an extra thousand pounds. Oh, I see. So you could tow more weight and exactly. stuff like that. Okay, exactly. cool. Anything change up front here? Uh, so in here, we have the uh, Lariat trim level package. And so you have custom embroidered seats, and then you have the big screen, unlike the prototype type which was just a basic uh, uh, model. Okay. So, so you, you have heated cooled comforts. seats, yep. yep, digital speedometer, lane assist, uh, hill climb, a lot of cool off-roading features. So there's uh, on the screen there's like levels so it'll tell mm -hmm. you what degree you're at. Okay. And then, so if you go over 32 degrees it'll tell you you know you're you're too oh, steep nice. Okay. So yeah. really a lot of cool uh, overlanding yeah. features built into it. That's then nice. of course the leather seating and then they do tumble down to where you can go through into the back. So it's still pass through. Exactly. And five passengers, five seat belts, OEM. Okay, cool. Do you know suspension's a big thing. A lot of people always ask about suspension. How does it handle off road? Mm -hmm. Is it a glorified RV? Is it a true overlanding? Right, right, right. So once again we partner with Icon Suspension. Icon 
Sean is the one that did our front end on the Ascender. Okay. And you've seen all the challenges the Ascender has overcome. So right. we know it's a strong, proven system. So okay. now we have full Icon suspension and it's adjustable. So if you're doing a highway travel, not so much off-road, you adjust it just by turning the dial. Okay. And that's on the front and in the back. Oh, okay. And then we've also parted with liquid spring. So if you wanted to upgrade it, you can upgrade a liquid spring, giving you eight inches of movement. Okay. So you can press a button and it'll adjust at eight inches. Another okay. really cool thing about liquid spring that Icon doesn't have mm -hmm. is the auto tensioner. So every millisecond as you're traveling, it all auto adjusts. So let's say you're driving down a bumpy road, it'll tighten up to give mm -hmm. it a stronger rigid drop. Versus if you're in the highway, it'll auto sense that you're in the highway and give it a lot smoother ride. Oh, okay. And you can actually feel it it's so cool. Like you're driving the highway, you feel really nice, soft, mm -hmm. comfortable. You go off road without even pressing any buttons or anything, Just it switches. tightens up, auto okay. tenses, and you can go off road with it. Okay, cool. And these are some benefits that we're getting from everything with the Ascender. Some exactly. stuff you guys are learning exactly. along the way, you're adding it to this as well. Continuous improvements are yeah. motto. Continuous right. improvement. We've had clients on the road that have come back and we've upgraded their suspension. We've upgraded their batteries and a lot of other cool things. Mm -hmm. The next major thing we did was the Lithionics battery system. That's so cool. not only are we doing Lithionics batteries, we partnered up also with Victron. So the inverter charge controller, that's Victron now mm -hmm. and Lithionics. So that's a okay, big, cool. big selling point. That on is, I think. Okay, cool. So what do we have in these? Can we look in these? Yeah, yeah most definitely. Here, what do we have so here? So here you have one of two options. Option number one that most people have gone with is a TV with mm -hmm. a portable Bluetooth speaker. Okay. The other option here is if you don't want the TV, we can do a recovery package. So we'll put a little hatchet, a little shovel, mm -hmm. kind of survival Some straps, gear. exactly. Stuff like that. Okay, exactly. cool. Nice. Yep. Over here we have the outdoor storage. Okay. Lots uh, what of storage. we did here, we opened it up a little bit more so that you can fit a backpack depth-wise. So we made a little bit bigger of a storage compartment without losing any interior space. Cool. Another really big and awesome feature that we've incorporated, we partnered up with Kuat, another Springfield, Missouri success story. Oh, okay. And so we have similar stories. They started in their garage, we started in our garage. Right. And they make this super cool bike rack. So check this out. First, it opens up and you can swivel it out. So let's say you're traveling, you want to get to your spare tire, mm -hmm. the bike rack swivels out. Another really cool thing is this comes down and it slides into a ramp. So whenever oh, okay. you have so a you heavy e-bike, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can get it you up just and down drive easy. it up on the ramp. Cool. A third really cool feature is over here, you have an auto lock. So this slides out and it's oh, built into the nice. bike rack and you just lock your bike here. That's so, cool, yeah. Yeah, so it's a really right. cool multi all-in-one. And then, of course, you can adjust to your height of your tire. Mm -hmm. So this is a really neat feature. You can adjust, so the bigger the tire, you can adjust this to give it a nice, secure yeah. and feel. And this is a big, beefy electric bike Yeah, right this here, one's yeah. like about 70 pounds. Mm -hmm. And then it's all hydraulics, so you're not worrying about straps. You don't have to bring locks. It's all turnkey with the built-in yeah. ramp. That's nice. The same guys making the bumper back here? Yes, or? Okay. yep. Same bumper, it's just an accessory to the hitch. Okay, Yep. And cool. then without having it, you know, tear it all apart, it swings open. All right, so around here. Around here, uh, the other storage compartment. So the cool thing we did here, we covered up the electrical wiring mm -hmm. uh, with just an easy panel that removes. Yeah. And then we gave you more storage space. So now you can comfortably throw your gear mm -hmm. in here. Uh, you know, a lot of people asked on the ladder uh, yeah. to add an additional steps. So we added two additional steps and then we left this opening here. Mm -hmm. You could put either a fuel cell in here or a water cell. Okay. And so if you're going off grid longer term and you don't need extra fuel but water, you can put a water cell. Okay, in. cool. Yep. Right, uh, so there is an extra two rungs in this now yes, sir. going up. Okay. Yes, sir. And up on the roof, while we're thinking about that, uh, what's going on up there? So on the roof, we got the 12 volt air conditioning in the back. Okay. We have a solar panel, mm -hmm. a max airflow vent, another mm -hmm. solar panel, and a skylight in the front. Okay, cool. So a lot of people best, asked yeah. us about the AC, so there's AC. We'll see when we go inside. Yes, sir. And solar, how much, how much solar panel? Uh, 600 watts of solar okay. fixed on the roof. Okay. And then you have an auxiliary port to hook up another 600 watt. Oh, okay, so cool. So it comes with a 1,200 watts, 600 yeah. fixed and 600 portable. Yeah, that should be good enough to replace what you're, like if oh, you're running the most AC. Most definitely, yeah. most okay. definitely. Cool. Traditionally on expedition trucks for over 100 years, fuel ports are always been really high and awkward and that's still the case in today's industry. Mm -hmm. And so reading, you know, some of the feedback we've got, we moved the fuel port down. So now it's a lot easier to fill, a lot easier to access. Mm -hmm. And then we kept your power and water up here. Okay. In here, similar to last time, we just added an auto switch. So you have a backup water pump. 
so that if you, you know, common issues, water pump failure, or just need extra pressure, you have an auto switch for two water pumps. And then you have your outdoor shower, outdoor power with a really fancy handle that comes with it. Okay, cool. And obviously your cassette is, is here. Yeah. You can always get an extra cassette if you want, but you should yep. be able to, you know, exactly. dispose of that relatively easy. Yeah. All right. So coming in have you made any changes on the interior yes. over what we saw yes okay. we did some pretty big changes on the interior first and foremost we added the 12 volt air conditioning our prototype didn't have it okay um, but now we did add it in right now we're using dometic and then we're in the process of working in to offer a truma as well for those who are going to do extremely hot climates oh nice okay yeah like us floridians yeah right okay another really cool thing that we did is a secret storage compartment so i'll stand over here so this bottom drawer when it opens it comes up and you have a secret storage there for like passports and cash mm -hmm. and then we upgraded the floor to a luxury vinyl plank instead of sheathing so pretty much everyone in the industry still uses one big sheet and the downside mm -hmm. there is if you damage it it's near impossible to replace versus here if you damage it we keep extra pieces cut to size in stock so you can swap them out because they don't go under the cabinets they go up to the cabinets oh okay exactly okay but everything else under that the subfloor to this is still it's all, waterproof yep waterproof it's carbon fiber reinforced fiberglass so right. i mean it's virtually waterproof yeah you don't yeah. have anything so to, it's not gonna it nothing's gonna rot yeah. or rust yeah and the here we added a clothes hanger along with drawers here in the bottom same thing all aluminum aluminum 80 20 extrusion so there's no wood mdf furniture board particles all the cabinetry is aluminum through and through and we can open the bathroom here just, I don't, yeah I, there's probably no changes in the bathroom so in the bathroom no major changes we just added another shower rod holder so okay. that if you want to shower you know parallel to the van you're able to do oh, that okay. and then on the light we built in a stronger fan system mm -hmm. and so the original one we had our prototype wasn't as strong it was just what the rv industry uses okay. we found a nice stronger one off of a boat so it sucks a lot more air oh, cool. and it vents it outside nice yeah. okay good awesome we've still got the washer here right yes sir so okay. it comes with the washing machine you can't upgrade it to wash and dryer in one the only downside there is dryer it takes a lot of power so most people are opting out of it oh i see okay so i was just going to ask you that why not get a washer dryer but power is the issue exactly. right okay understood. and then you have your cooktop here mm -hmm. so this slides out your cooktop induction portable two burner cooktop mm -hmm. goes here and mm -hmm. it sits flush with the countertop the reason we did this is not to take up countertop space okay all right. Yeah. So just along the lines of the washer dryer question, I, I would get people asking, we were looking at the bathroom here, we were looking at the cassette toilet, right? Right. What do you think is better for what this is built for? Cassette toilet or actual black tank? What do you find? Definitely cassette toilet because mm -hmm. whenever you're overlanding or off grid, you're doing the national parks. So let's mm -hmm. just use Yellowstone for an example. You don't have a dump station at Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. Versus with a cassette toilet, you go to a truck stop, a rest area, and it's a lot easier to yeah. dispose of. Or those uh, like, the not porta potties but they have some of those like exactly uh, holes basically dug exactly. in the ground the you can go there and dump it out it's just a little yeah. suitcase it's got two little wheels and a yeah. handle you wheel it dump it you're good to go yeah okay and but yet you can still get your very nice clean exactly. bathroom to use it's uh it's plumbed it's mm -hmm. got an electric uh, flush valve so you just press a button and it auto flushes for you yeah and my suggestion would be if you want to get another an extra cassette toilet or something yeah put it in one of the storage things but honestly you could just dump that one yeah yeah and keep going okay uh, we upgraded our control panel mm -hmm. to a smart camper manager system and so we can uh remotely diagnose and service your unit and then if you see just the extent of why organization that we go through and then they have the stainless steel latches yeah. and then of course the central control module that controls everything and the really neat thing here on the left side we have switches so if you're not a big screen person rest assured you got wonderful switches that control everything and then your fuses and breakers and as you can see very clean very organized something we take a lot of so up here this is uh cell access cellular exactly. access to this okay so you guys if someone's running into something anywhere, you can log I can in and figure out what's going on. I can remotely tell you, hey, you got a failing battery, okay. you got a bad solar panel, it's a fuse, It's and, and I can remotely, our team can remotely service it for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in here, other than these, can people access stuff themselves? Yes, a, you can download phone? the app on your phone okay. as well and access it from your phone too. Oh, very cool. All right, let's get a look. I don't know if you change anything else back here. 
but let's get a look at it anyway for maybe some folks out there who have not yeah. seen this. So the dinette we designed first and foremost to have a fiberglass base. Mm -hmm. So that way it's not getting water damaged mm -hmm. and it's solid. You know, you're kicking constantly with your feet. Right. Yeah. Traditional bench boxes are breaking. As you can see here, I'm kicking yeah. it over and over again and it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Then I decided to design that bench. So I'm about six foot. Mm -hmm. Average uh, RV traveler, I think, came back at like five seven. So I'm mm -hmm. six foot. And I still have about four inches with my tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. That way I'm sitting here, I can work. Another cool thing we did was the table, it can slide back and forth. So if I wanted to move it towards me or away from me. Oh, cool. Yeah. You know, I'm working here, kids or pets are running, you know, running back and in and out. There. Yeah. And if you're in an environment like this, like today, it's maybe like 72, 73 degrees outside, not really humid. So it's nice here. You don't really yeah. need the AC in this particular thing. But yeah, it, and it feels nice and cool in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very cool. All right, so if anyone's looking at this, Pavel, um, obviously they can, you know, you can always go through Sunshine State RV, but if people want to know more about this stuff yes. and they want to find out from you, how do they do that? I would start on our website. Our website, mm -hmm. our Instagram, The 27 North, mm -hmm. and then we have a really strong network of dealers, Sunshine mm -hmm. State RV, uh, one of our top dealers in the U.S., mm -hmm. and they have wonderful benefits there. We also have Vought, TransWest, and a couple other big names. So start on our website, and mm -hmm. that will tell you which way to go. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, I appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. And I am working out with Pavel so we can actually take everything that 27 North makes. We're going to, at some point, take it out and actually put it through its paces. I mean, you know, I'm not that hardcore, but we'll put it through some paces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love it. Yes, thanks, man. Hey, thank you, brother. We'll see you guys. Peace.